yeah, we're right back into the, the thick of things now, having three weeks under our belt of the pre-season and oh, the group's in great spirits and with the fixture just dropping, it sort of feels like um, everything's gaining some momentum now. It's lucky everyone loves footy. It was a quick little spell, uh, probably more of a, a mental break than anything from you know, the disappointment of last season coming off the grand final. And yeah, you still get the opportunity to contend this year um, and with a very similar group. So we're sort of thankful for the opportunity and take the momentum of where the team got to last season. And yeah, obviously we, we fell short from, uh, from being able to compete with the best, but um, we're pretty confident, you know, if we put our heads down and work hard enough, we, uh, we might be able to um, contend in finals again this season and, and go one further. Having the draft last week and Sabrina Duffy coming through free agency, um, Sinead Goldrick and Blaheen Macken will join us um, when their All Island campaign ends, so they're, they're probably still a couple of weeks away. But um, Charlotte Wilson, Jordan Ivey, Ree Watt uh, have been brilliant additions, and, and Ree not in a position to play this season, but just very selfless, um, team orientated, and feel like we've added the right people into our existing mix that can sort of help us grow and, and push further as a team this season. Seen great growth from uh, Megan Fitzsimon, Eliza McNamara, Alyssa Bannon. Um, they're becoming really, you know, good friends, uh, but then influencing each other away from footy, like in terms of, you know, the high performance behaviours and pushing each other to be better in like, in a fun and creative way. And it's actually raising the standard across our group. I think a few of the senior players are sort of seeing those girls in, in at the club more often doing extras and that competitiveness kicks in and no one wants to get left behind at this level. So, um, yeah, it has been enjoyable to watch their growth. With the group that we've got, the group were keen to come in and do a session before work um, rather than another session after work. So 7.30 a.m. on a Monday, we're in here um, doing some upper body strength work and doing some skill work. Um, and then the players head off at nine and um, some will be able to stick around for a coffee or stick around to do some extra work in the gym or the pool. But yeah, it's sort of that flexibility, almost a little um, teaser into what you know a full-time footballer program would look like. Tuesday and Thursday nights, Players are in here from about 4 to late 30. I think they're missing the, uh, the balmy summer evenings that we uh, enjoyed for six years. Uh, and then Saturday mornings we train from about uh, 8.30 to 12.30. At this stage, we're sort of having to pull them back a little bit at training. They're, you know, they're still fully wound up from last season and confident they'll, they'll be ready when the season comes around. Um, and the more footy you know, this group gets to play, and even the more footy um, across the competition is going to help the growth of the game. And, um, yeah, we'd love to see more games in the future because I believe these, these players deserve it and it's the best way to grow and move forward. But yeah, we'll take the 10 home and away games and um, a final eight this year and we'll be making sure we're, we're putting our hand up to compete again.